life keeps score and your employees crave the data. So in my company, the way that I apply that is we absolutely have a minimum tolerated type of policy. So we have the policies and procedures that say you need bare minimum of this score and you can't have more than this many complaints. And that's what will keep you out of trouble. But we also have measures in that we want people to know like how they can get um, promotions and bonuses and things like that. So scores do drive performance and it's really the data that drives the performance. And what I mean by that is, sure, they can have a score, but if they can't see the data, like how, you know, how those individual comments and scores add up to their average. And I also believe in showing them not only their score, but everybody else's score. And that drives people to want a higher score. Now, a lot of people will use a similar system, but they don't show anything but that employee's score. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, it's whatever works in your company culture. But I can tell you that we have a very positive company culture and we show each other's scores but it's how we handle it and you can't slap an incentive program on a toxic culture because then it is very carrot and stick instead of coaching and reward type system um you know really it's more coaching and recognition than even the reward because when you have a pay per performance system, sure, you may have a monetary bonus or um, some kind of um, contest or raffle. I mean, there's all kinds of pay per performance systems that you can run. But when it comes down to it, it is more about the affirmation and the building of self esteem and self confidence than it is about the monetary thing. Now, your reward system, you absolutely have to figure out what matters to them. Um, if you were, for instance, I'll give you an example. I just recently said we were gonna do a contest and I said, um, I gave them some choices of what they'd want and <laughs> I was very wrong about what they would want. And so, you know, if I would have just started this contest, and that's not really a paper performance system. I mean, it is and it isn't, but um, I will run some intermittent type paper performance systems such as contest, but then we have year round things that we do as well. But if I would have run that contest and it had picked a reward that nobody cared about, then nobody cares about it. And they wouldn't do what I'm hoping they would do. So when I have something that I want, then I figure out what they need and I build a system around that. So you just have to lay out the groundwork and you will find that when you have a newer employee and you have this kind of system where your policies are all very consistent and transparent and you have a pay perform performance system, then your newer employees hit a fork in the road and you will see people rise to the occasion and you will see their scores start to climb 
And I literally watch this and people that I work with do the same thing. You can, you get to where you know who's going to make it early on and who's not. If you don't see those scores starting to go up, that person will exit out of your system because they will not like not getting the rewards and they will blame it on your system. And I just let them blame it on the system because I know we've been running this system seven, eight years and it's very successful. <laughs>